thresholding is the simplest method of image segmentation. From a grayscale image, thresholding can be used to create binary images. Definition The simplest thresholding methods replace each pixel in an image with a black pixel if the image intensity is less than some fixed constant T, or a white pixel if the image intensity is greater than that constant. In the example image on the right, this results in the dark tree becoming completely black, and the white snow becoming complete white. Categorizing thresholding methods To make thresholding completely automated, it is necessary for the computer to automatically select the threshold T. Sazgin and Sanka categorized thresholding methods into the following six groups based on the information the algorithm manipulates, histogram shape-based methods, where, for example, the peaks, valleys and curvatures of the smoothed histogram are analyzed, clustering-based methods, where the gray level samples are clustered in two parts as background and foreground, or alternately are modeled as a mixture of two Gaussians, entropy-based methods result in algorithms that use the entropy of the foreground and background regions, the cross-entropy between the original and binarized image, etc. Object-attribute-based methods search a measure of similarity between the gray level and the binarized images, such as fuzzy shape similarity, edge coincidence, etc. Spatial methods that use higher-order probability distribution and or correlation between pixels, local methods adapt the threshold value on each pixel to the local image characteristics. In these methods, a different T is selected for each pixel in the image. Multi-band thresholding, color images can also be thresholded. One approach is to designate a separate threshold for each of the RGB components of the image and then combine them with an AND operation. This reflects the way the camera works and how the data is stored in the computer, but it does not correspond to the way that people recognize color. Therefore, the HSL and HSV color models are more often used. Note that since hue is a circular quantity it requires circular thresholding. It is also possible to use the CMYK color model. Probability distributions, histogram shape-based methods in particular, but also many other thresholding algorithms, make certain assumptions about the image intensity probability distribution. The most common thresholding methods work on bimodal distributions, but algorithms have also been developed for unimodal distributions, multimodal distributions, and circular distributions. See also, Otsu's method, balanced histogram thresholding. Citations, for men, Morrison are, Schwoch JAL quantitative image analysis of immanuist to chemical stains using a CMYK color model. Diane Pathel. 28. Shapiro, Linda G. And Stockman, George C. Computer Vision. Prentice Hall. ISBN 0 13 030796 3. Mehmet Sazgin and Bulantzanka, Survey over Image Thresholding Techniques and Quantitative Performance Evaluation. Journal of Electronic Imaging 13, 1, 146 a Euro 165 doi, 10.1117-1.163131315. References and further reading, Gonzalez, Rafael C. and Woods, Richard E. Thresholding. In Digital Image Processing, pages 595 a Euro 611. Pearson Education. ISBN 81-7808-629-8, M. Luesi, M. Eichmann, G. M. Schuster, and A. K. Katsagelos, Framework for Efficient Optimal Multi-Level Image Thresholding, Journal of Electronic Imaging, Volume 18, pages 13004 plus, 2009. doi, 10.1117-1.3073891, Efficient Circular Thresholding, i.e. trans. On Image Processing 23, 3, pages 992 Euro 1001. doi, 10.1109-tip. 2013.229714. References